Uh, still working to get all the plastics off. Um, nothing wrong with the saw. Um, but I'm going to measure the piston and the length of the bore. And um, I've been racking my brain. I don't know how to measure displacement, but uh, apparently, <coughs> now I'm going to take this to people who know. Apparently, um, they're only measuring up to about uh, 70 cc's at best. Um, a bloke actually was on a page that I'm on, a group that I'm in, a chainsaw group, and he said that uh, he measured his, it, met, it amounted to about 70 cc's. He went to Edison's and they quickly uh, shut him down and said, ah, oh, no, nope, that's it, your, warrant, your warranty's done and we don't want to know you, don't message us and uh, refuse to uh, have anything to do with him. So uh, that was very quick and very abrupt. Um, so let's just uh, get in there and get those screws off and get inside. Oh, well, it's a nice day we're having outside. I figured I'd open the garage door and bloody uh, do it all here. I need to wipe that lens clean. The lens is clean, it's just the, the sunlight that we're going to continue on. I'm going to clean all through there with degrees at first. Um, I will take the starter off. Um, it's a good idea to get in there and clean it. I've done a video once before, but might as well uh, have another look inside. Um, I'm nervous to uh, find bad news that it is only 70 odd cc. Goes bloody good. I've got to get a new decompression valve anyway. That one there, the plastic piece is gone. And but I actually have a local Husqvarna dealer. I might see if I can get a big bore kit through them. Um, hang on, let's uh, clean it all up and get inside. I will quickly point out, always grease. Um, you can see where I put the grease on the actual uh, air filter itself. Um, around there. And also underneath this nut. It catches it all, you can see. It's had quite a bit of use. A uh, big weekend actually. Um, still nice and clean inside, so use any grease, it catches it all. And uh, it does keep it clean. Right, uh, the throttle had to come off. Um, one bolt came out, the other one is in there, but it's free. The carb can stay. I just took the pulse line there off. The so, literally I can go um, to degrees and go all silly in there, and uh, then we can undo the head bolts, and uh, take it off. For those wondering, these are 372 dog spikes, so it's just Husqvarna, someone asked me, who made those for you? Nobody. Husqvarna made them. Uh, about 80 bucks for a set of two. This one and the one which situates itself on this side. Um, yeah. They are a direct clone of a 372. Anyway, keep going. Just before I go and crack the head bolts, <coughs> or the, the barrel bolts, and the first thing I noticed was how extremely tight I needed that guy, as well as this much lever, to crack him. It almost sounds like Edison's did not want it to be easy to get inside and look at that jug. Why? It is good to see that the piston is in good shape if I can... Chase. 
Still those processing in there though. Ah, oh, free to get the jug off. It's just about ready anyway. Finally got it free. Um, let's lift the jug off. Uh, Purge line. Now I am happy to report that even the exhaust port, everything looks really good. Everything looks amazing. This chainsaw is nearly four years old. Um, nothing, no carb. Now I'll tell you immediately what I run. Um, a fully synthetic two-stroke oil, like Husqvarna's LS1 Plus, um, or equivalent. I run 200 mils of two-stroke oil to five litres of petrol. Um, I also, what was I going to say? Also, um, ah, shit. I can't remember what I was going to say. I, I ran it, it the, the saw ran rich when I got it, brand new. I left it that way for an entire five litres of this, pre, this, this uh, fuel, five litres of fuel. Once I ran five litres down, that's when I uh, went ahead and uh, tuned the, um, the piston. Looks great. Perfect mix. Perfect. Bit of. I can't even feel those lines there. But perfect mix. Um, so now to get the calipers out. Unless you're measuring the top of the crown above the first ring. Forty nine point eight five. Yeah. Just to keep everyone happy. All right. Zero. Now let's do it again. Above the first piston ring. Forty nine millimeters. People are telling me that equates to they're also telling me that they I've heard some people say already that these are fifty millimeters long. I never saw photos, but I'm taking those photos now. 42. Try and get it this way. Sorry about the bad camera work. I'm trying to leave as little editing as possible. 42 and a half millimeters long. So it's a, just under 50 millimeter crown. It's about 42 and a half long. I'm squeezing that. I don't know the stroke length, but um, it's still on there. Let's measure it now. I'm going to first measure from the end of this skirt to that flat spot there.
This is, there's going to be people out there with the knowledge who know how to measure this. And they're going to come back and they're going to tell me what my measurements equate to. And by the looks of things, a big ball kit could merely be putting a, a, a stock 372 jug. Well, apparently a stock 372 is a 50mm size herd. That's now to there. You bring this down. The screws loose. Okay. Let me just prop the phone up. Couldn't prop the phone up, but I will mark this in place as I have done. Inside. That's solid there and that is on there and I'm getting a reading of 73.18 millimeters in length um I don't know if you're supposed to measure to the tip of the barrel hang on this is the best I could do just eyeballing it you can see that the, that is level with the uh, jug and it's on the very bottom of the barrel 84.75 um, so so we've got the measurements now um, hang on probably don't need to do this but Yeah, around about 50 millimeters. Yeah, it's a 50 millimeter piston. Hit or miss, it's a 50 millimeter piston. The piston is only forty-two and a half long. So 42 and a half by 70, or well 40 times two is 80. And the stroke, the entire length of this barrel, as you saw, now, the entire length of this barrel, 73. It's not what you call a square engine which means stroke length and, and bore size. If this was a square length, if this was a square engine, that would be uh, 75 and a half. It's hard to explain and I'm probably not the best person to explain it, but uh, a square engine has, um, when the piston's at bottom dead center, the uh, crown size 50 millimeters and the uh, distance between the top of the crown and the, and the uh, top of the cylinder is also 50 millimeters um, I don't know the stroke length well the the, the bore size was 70 what was it what was it 73 and a half or some shit which I heard somebody say they have a 73 millimeter stroke 50 millimeter crown 73 and a half millimeter stroke or ball length. Um, I just don't know how to do the math. But what I've done, I've taken physical measurements. I suppose if I want to measure the stroke, I can measure the between centers from the uh, crankshaft center and the center of the uh, crank pin. Now I'm going to clean this up now. Uh, the saw does work pretty well, uh, but I might visit my local Husqvarna shop and uh, I know if I order a 
I don't know, a 54 millimeter big ball kit. It will be bigger, but I just don't know how many cc's. Um, yeah, so well, I couldn't find a video of this anywhere on YouTube, so I thought I'd do one. It's perfectly working chainsaw, goes good, but um, if what everybody is saying is right, um, the ACCC would like to have a few words with Edison's. Um, now, I heard, like I said, there was a bloke on a Facebook group that I'm in, Chainsaws Australia. Um, he was saying that a he did exactly what I did today. He did the measurements and he got he, he equated to about 70 cc's when he did his maths. He uh, confronted Edison's, and, and the first thing they did was that no, nah, that's it. Your warranty is void. Uh, blah 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 and no we don't want to hear anything about your uh, measurements we don't want to hear nothing uh, and we are not going to deal with you any further well I have already screenshot um, the original eBay or Edison's uh, specs they reckon this is an 82 cc chainsaw um, so before they change that, I've already uh, taken screenshots. Now, one thing that they did do, they advertised this as a three-port exhaust on the Edison's website. It was a three-port exhaust. Inside the muffler, there's no spark arrestor. Let's not worry about that. This is an empty chamber and one port. These guys here, they are just tubes in which the in which the uh, bolts slide down to do up on the head or on the cylinder. This was advertised as a three port exhaust. And when I got the chainsaw and realized it wasn't, I went straight on there to have a look to uh, screenshot that and uh, Say, so look, you have lied about the uh, single port exhaust that you actually sell with these saws. Um, somebody else has beat me to it, and they've obviously, uh, or, or it's been brought to Edison's attention that uh, they are about to be uh, uh, brought forward to be questioned on this uh, misleading product. I could no longer see anywhere where they said that it was a, a, tri a tri triple port exhaust, which was a big selling point. Um, like I said, it goes good. I like the saw, but don't tell me it is something which it is not. I've got, I did a certificate three in business administration, and a lot of it was yip yap about the A triple C which um, they're going to get an email from me. Oh, by the way, folks, Edison's received a copy of this video. They have watched it. Um, or they've probably watched it. They may have, or they haven't replied yet, obviously, because I'm still filming. But um, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube and then I'm going to upload uh, or send Edison's a link. Now, I'm going to get people who know how to measure these to measure those specs for me, get back to me, and then I'm going to send those specs to Edison's um, with the video. Um, they can't threaten me with warranty because this is a four-year-old chainsaw just about. I've looked after it, but... Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get let's get something done here. I, I, you know, I'd like it if Edison sent me a big bore kit. Very unlikely. Um, I'm not going to drag him through court. A lot of you may want to. Um, you know, but uh, I know they say you get what you pay for, but uh, we have a right to correct information. 
And um, if this is incorrect, we have a right to know about it. You know, do not do not tell us. It's like, what was it? That uh, Hustle, Hustle, I don't know, Blue Chainsaws. I don't know. They, I think I've seen a chainsaw like this on there and they advertise it as a 70cc. They actually uh, didn't lie about it. So... Oh, well, all, all the best of luck to you, whoever wants to uh, take this further. Um, you don't need to pull apart your SX82 chainsaw. Well, where's the starter? It hasn't got Mark II or Mark III or anything written on there. But uh, this is the one with the uh, automotive air filter. Yeah. Um, all the best, and uh, thanks for watching. And I hope this really helped a few people out, especially those who are thinking about just buying an eight, a big ball kit. I'm gonna look into that today now and uh, go from there.